To start the software, click on the Spectra Elements Advanced icon. You will be provided with login information during your training. We will use primarily three tabs, Loader, Results Manager, and XRF Evaluation. Select the Loader tab. There are several ways to add a sample to the loader. Either you click Create New Specimen, or you can use the sample loader itself. Let's use the left-hand window to create our sample. Select Smart Element or Smart Oxide depending on the type of sample you plan to run. Our first test sample is a piece of cover so we want to select Smart Elements. Type in your sample ID. We recommend that using your initials as the first two characters. Select the type of preparation. In this case it is a solid. You notice that several fields disappear from the display. Only relevant fields are displayed. Select the method. Vacuum is only suitable for solid samples. Air or helium must be used for powders and liquid samples. The size in millimeters is the mask size. Masks are used to reduce the beam size when measuring samples smaller than the standard 34 millimeters. In our demonstration, we can select vacuum 34 millimeters. You can now send the sample to the loader by clicking and dragging it to the online specimens window. You can remove it by clicking Remove while it is selected. Since our sample is not held in a standard cup holder, but is a large sample we need to use the manual loading option. Click on the online specimens menu, click Manual Loading, then, click Yes in the pop-up window. You will also need to remove the default sample from the online specimens window by clicking Remove. We now need to create our sample again and add it to the manual loading. We are following the same procedure showed a minute ago. Type sample name. Select solid for the preparation. Select vacuum 34 mm for the method. Then drag the sample to the online specimens window. Click unlock chamber in order to prepare the instrument to load the physical sample. The orange light turns off. A few seconds later the instrument is unlocked and we can lift the lid. This is where the X-ray source is. The X-ray come out from there and illuminate the sample. The X-ray fluorescence from the sample is then detected on the detector right here. Our sample is a copper plate. We can simply place it down in the instrument. We can now close the instrument chamber lid. Back on the software, click Start. Assuming you already removed the mask, or in some cases apply the appropriate mask, click OK on the pop-up message. The XRF instrument has a touchscreen control. We can see an image representing our sample. Let's click the home icon. You might find useful to use touch control, live spectrum, and status display. Let's look at status display. Here we can see the instrument status, and in particular the actual pressure. We are waiting for the instrument to go down to base pressure before the measurement starts. The base pressure of 5 millibars is reached and the measurement is running. Let's go back to the home screen and watch the live spectrum. One can overlay the fluorescence lines of specific atoms by clicking on the line marker icon and selected the appropriate atoms. It is also possible to zoom in on chosen area by drawing a box.
Click on your analysis in the table. You can now see your results in the result table on the right. Click the printer icon on the menu to produce a document highlighting the peaks corresponding to each of the elements detected by the software. Use your knowledge of the sample and a critical view of the data to assess if any peak was misidentified. The data can be further reviewed and analyzed by going to the XRF Evaluation tab and browsing through the spectrum. In order to remove your sample, in the Loader tab, click Unlock Chamber. First, we need to raise the center mounting post. We need to go back to the home screen, then select touch control. Click the back icon, then in the manual loading window, toggle the switch to off. The post is now rising. Place the carousel on, then, twist a little to sit it properly. Our samples are loaded in the carousel, so we can close the sample chamber. The same way we set it up for the large sample, we create a sample in the software and select the appropriate method. Then, we drag it to the carousel. We can then, start the measurement by clicking Start. The rest of the process is then the same as for a bulk sample. 